Okay, hello. Squeaky bikes. Do, 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 do. Right, today I am here test riding the 390 Duke. That's purely because, um, well, I feel like having one, that's why. But because they are completely brand new to the market, I thought. Good to try one out. Chance to get one of these up on the, uh, the good old YouTube because of English. Because uh, you see a lot of Indian reviews, uh, Chinese, Indonesia, blah 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 blah. blah. Right, um, I saw a good comparison video. Um, can't remember the guy's name, but if he's watching this, then thank you for that. So yes, this is the 2013 KTM 390 Duke, okay? Now, it's identical size, and I mean it's identical size to the 125 and the 200. Now, um, it's, it doesn't make it a bad bike because it's the same size. It's actually fucking quite nice. Right, so it's just a bigger engine. Uh, comes standard ABS, which I'll be testing shortly. Right, it says go. Right, I don't even know where I am because I live quite far away. This this is AMS motorcycles. I've got this from. So thank you guys for letting me test ride this today. Uh, much appreciated. And that says that if I damage it. Break it, crash, anything like that, I need to pay a thousand pounds and I have to sign something. So I gave someone else's name. Because <laughs> I ain't crashing it. I don't plan to crash it anyway. That's the last thing I want to do. Okay, first impressions. Quite throaty. Very throaty. Uh, get a nice, nice custom exhaust on that. Preferably, if people own a 125, the best exhaust I've found, and which I've recommended to a friend who has a Duke 125, is a uh, Pipeworks exhaust. The sound is amazing. It um, it rips my lungs apart when I'm next to him at the uh, at set of lights. Love it. Um, it's quite, obviously, compared to the CBR, it's, uh, it's very lightweight, it's very upright. So it's going to take a bit of use to. I've got this for a whole hour. So I'll have to ride as nicely as I can. Don't want to get any points on my license, but I want to test it out. Okay, fair enough, that does take off more than I thought. I wasn't expecting it to drag like the, uh, I wouldn't say the 125 drags, but for a 125 it is very, very nippy. It's probably the fastest on the market. Um, second to the Wisden F125. Yes, I have seen videos of drag races where the KTM has just nipped it. Um, so it's probably down to the rider. But, um, so they are pretty close brakes. So it's a one cylinder engine, this. Uh, this class is a 390, but the engine is a 373cc. Yeah, 373. Yeah, 373cc. We're dying. Um, oh, she's absolutely perfect for me. Um, I finally have been told to follow this road. I don't even know what time it is. Where's the time? It's 5 past 2, so I've got this. Till 5 past 3! National speed limit. Okay, throttle response. 
Um, I don't think it's cable, I think it's electric on these, so it's uh, quite bloody reactive. Okay, six bit gearbox. I completely forgot what gear was in, so I had to go down into first and work my way. Um, yeah, six bit gearbox. Once in the 373cc engine. Um, power output, no idea. Um, I got some more stats, I'll probably walk away with a book. It is a uh, lightweight, very upright. Took me, uh, took me right into the tank on these. Pin to the tank here. Gorgeous orange frame, gorgeous orange wheels. Um, it's lovely, actually. It's really, really nice. Feels comfortable on the road. I'm not feel like I'm struggling with traffic. It's this has been released for the new laws, which have been brought out. The no restricted laws. Uh, 37 brake. 47 brake, my apologies. Yeah, this still still shifts. Let's test it. Okay, red line's at 10,000 RPM, or nine and a half, I think. For an hour, the last thing I want to be doing is stuck in traffic. Okay, lovely little dash. Only two buttons, the 690 has got a bit more. Um, but all the information is there, you've got your rev counter. <laughs> Average 50 miles per hour, I doubt that. Gear indicator on there, did notice that. I should have looked down earlier. <laughs> Struggling to figure out what gear to be in, really. Because the rev range is so different. It's a good thing I got for now, right? Really light suspension. Really light, lovely. It's WP suspension. Oh. I think you hit about 6,000 revs until uh, you get a bit of a kick up the arse. And then the Austrian, the Austrian legend comes into play. Oh, I love that little throatiness at the bottom. Oh, God. I've got a thing for KTM, big style. And I've... Actually, today, um, so a con congratulations when I... You know, be out of order. Um, I'll pass my driving theory, which I've passed in the past. <laughs> ah, play on words. Um, passed in the past, and I just uh, I've never really wanted to get a car, and I like the idea of having a bike all year round because that's what I use my CBR for. But now the restrictors are out of the CBR, which most of you don't know. Um, now the restrictions are out of the CBR, she's an absolute animal and I'm absolutely loving it. I'd rather keep her as a nice gorgeous little gem um, sitting in the nice warm through the winter and uh, out of the bad weather. So I need something which is affordable, cheap to run, good for city riding, perfect for commuting and generally having a good old bit of fun. Whereas the CBR will be my touring. Um, like, you know, long distance riding, um, 
fast blast outs in the sun. Trying to get your knee down, kind of bike. And this will be the everyday commuter. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, why don't you just get a car? But I honestly can't see myself using a car. My passion is bikes, and if I want to get a car, I'll buy a car. But I can't see the point of being told to buy one. Um, because everyone knows that they're practical. Just because they're practical, um, I don't do the weekly shop. I haven't got kids. I don't feel the need to have one yet. Um, I don't feel the need to be having so much insurance on this. Um, I don't know the insurance group for this bike, but I have had a quote, and it is cheaper than my 600 CBR, um, which is probably a given. Um, this is running sweet. Whoop, 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 whoop. I need to get around this Tesco so I can try it out. But I can't see and I don't know the road, so ladies and gentlemen, don't take drugs. Um, not too bad. You know, it's, I'm not buying it for a speed machine, but when it takes off, it gets me there quite well. Uh, it definitely got me there quite well. The wind is, you know, what you expect for a naked boy, you're not completely covered. Travelling at 60 miles now, I'm getting a fair bit of wind at the minute. Yes, really. I honestly don't. Bow down to the Duke! The Duke! <laughs> so, I've just discovered that if you don't like the little seat, then you can sit on the back seat. Yeah, cool down a bit because I'm gonna run out of fuel at this rate. Right. So that's what I've just been dragging. Okay. Just looking for differences for other than the 125s and the 200s, apart from the obvious orange frame and the obvious wheels. Can't find any. Right. These tyres. Exactly the same as your. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Uh, one fifty by sixty ZR seventeen. Um, I have no idea what company that is. I've never heard of it. Met Metzilla something like that. Is wrong. Oh, lovely burning of children's souls coming out of it. Looks like the weather might be against me. But, uh, it's running gorgeous at the minute. Oh, miss a show off, are we? Ah. Scared of the Duke, he's running away. Zombies! <laughs> I think it's a gorgeous bike. It's not as big as your 690. But I'm not really too fussed about it. Okay, guys, um, it's just started spitting, so it's a good reason to test it for why I'm getting it for the bad weather. Oh, it's very slightly spitting, um, but I've just had trouble starting it up. I turned it off and it did not want to start again. So that was a bit annoying and I can't understand why. Um, I'm sure I'm sure she's alright now, she's, been, she's running fine, she might be a bit hot. That's probably my own fault. Fourth gear, and I'm going to drop myself down to about 25. No, I'm not going to jump. Okay, six and a half thousand revs. You got to kick up the arse. It's lovely. But it's a lovely kick. It's a KDM kick. Duh! Other things up on the market, such as this, is the CB500F, Ninja 300, M, oh I like this, I do like this, 
I honestly thought that this would be quite sluggish, but it's not. I'm enjoying it. It, it takes off just as I want it to. And it's got the power delivery I was hoping to get. I feel a bit of a douche because I'm wearing the same bloody jacket. The dash is quite low down for me as well. I have to do a lot of this to check. Whether everything's going as it should. Turning circle is absolutely bang on. I keep trying to skid and I cannot fucking break this thing. ABS on this is just amazing. Never had ABS on a bike before, so to slam everything on and I'm still in control is very impressive to me. We're up 15 minutes to kill, let's get lost.